All those comments that I have on my recent videos are all excited on the possible 6-star Naruto this coming update. Boy, the pressure is real. It's so cold. What's going on, Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All Star Tower Defense. And I actually spent like one or two hours checking all of your comments. Not really all, of course, that's a big cap, but checking the comments on my videos, guys, because I'm actually looking for some video ideas. And there's just one common thing that I actually saw, and most of those comments were actually talking about Naruto 6 Star, or should I say, the possible buff on Naruto. So, regardless if it's gonna be a 6 star naruto or maybe just a life-changing orb well the pressure is actually so high and also the expectation is literally hanging on top of the highest building in the world because Dragon Ball is currently dominating ASTD and that's the reason why on this video guys we are going to remind ourselves how powerful currently the Dragon Ball team and if there's really a chance for Naruto to redeem himself anyway guys Let's go. If you're one of those people who are always commenting on my videos, guys, well, I just wanted to say, first, thank you for the comment, and second, I'm actually reading some of them and of course I cannot really promise to read every single one of your comments but that's also the reason why we are creating this video guys because well I just want to show you the very big hump that the supposedly upcoming 6 star Naruto should actually overcome for the developers to at least please the Naruto fan base and of course guys it's not only on Naruto but yeah actually right now not gonna lie even One Piece is now slowly fading as well here in ASTD but Dragon Dragon Ball is still standing strong and that is just because of those recent units that they are adding and at the same time those really really good orbs that they are giving to those older Dragon Ball units. The question is now guys, well how powerful do you expect Naruto 6 star should be? Of course guys, I am not actually in any way saying that Naruto 6 star should be OPOP. OP. But of course, I mean, if he will be OPOP, OP, I think that he deserves it. I think that he literally deserves every single ounce of damage, guys. I mean, looking at our roster right now, I think that it's already... <laughs> I think that it's already no-brainer that this is actually pretty solid. I mean, yeah, this is not like a, a leaderboard meta, like not all of them. In fact, I think the only one is on the leaderboard meta, but considering the caliber of each and every one of these, uh, including their orbs, Dragon Ball is literally owning here on ASDD. So yeah, that will measure the expectation of all of the Naruto fans waiting for him. Okay, there we go, guys. We now have a max out Bull Mama here. And actually, I just realized that even... <laughs> Even the biggest and also the most OP money giver here is from Dragon Ball as well. Like, you know what guys, for those big Naruto fans, can you give me a possible, just a possible character from Naruto that could possibly be a money tower? Because I'm pretty sure guys in Jojo, I think that's gonna be, um, was that Speedwagon? I think his name is Speedwagon, right? Yeah, but it, it does make sense because I believe that he's actually kind of like a businessman, like a rich, rich guy on the anime. So I'm just not sure about Naruto though, because on Naruto, it's barely showing us some lavishness. But I mean, at the moment, guys, yes, Bull Mama is actually a very good money tower unit. But just like what happened to our Monkey Army video, guys, we were actually forced to do like four money towers just to even place like all of our Monkey Goku. And speaking of uh, Monkey Goku, I think that i'm going to place our monkey goku here obviously we cannot really place like eight of them but i'm just gonna place like eight of them um and maybe just max one besides uh we also have here um vegito and also gogeta so i mean these all of these units are actually so good except for vegeta but of course as an ingredient for our gogeta and also vegeto then he needs to be here so i'm just gonna remove all of this uh, goku as well here so that we can also create like a level 80 Vegito. And yeah, speaking of Vegito, guys, even though Vegito, I'm not really sure. Vegito is still being used on leaderboard, I think. But anyway, I'm just going to place our um, 
Vegetos here so that we can place like all of our Vegetos here as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized that if we just have Irwin here, pretty sure that this is going to be an easy wave number 70. I'm just not sure, guys. I am just not sure because of the money, but god dang, even without um, slowing unit, pretty sure that this is going to be a really solid run. Okay, there we go, guys. That's going to be the last fusion for our Gogeta. All right, so as you guys can see, these big three of our Dragon Ball units are already solid enough to actually even be compared to Kakashi. And I think that Kakashi is even no match compared to our monkey. And keep in mind, guys, that monkey, <laughs> golden monkey here is actually only a freaking four star, guys. And also the fact that we even made it to the leaderboard when we used our golden monkey. That goes to show how insane the Dragon Ball units are. Before, Dragon Ball units are already good enough. The meta was um, around wave number 40 only, I believe, or not even wave number 40. I think wave number 39, yeah. So the meta units before from Dragon Ball were like um, Goku 5-star and also Broly. And of course, uh, Golden Frieza. But after Mihawk came and at the same time, um, Nezuko, I believe, those three Dragon Ball units that I mentioned earlier just fell out of the meta. And I think that the, the next Dragon Ball unit that became part of the meta as well is around on the Christmas time, Gogeta. Yeah, this one, Gogeta. Because Gogeta is really, really a very good supporting cast together with Nezuko. And uh, I think that he replaced Mihawk, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe he worked with Mihawk on the leaderboard run. So yeah i think that dragon ball has also those uh, downtime if i may say out of the leaderboard but definitely guys this might actually be the longest streak for our dragon ball because well recently we are getting some insane upgrades from those older dragon ball units and at the same time the damage is not even like easily fading you see like this orb that they actually gave from goku gt is actually insane that we cannot even use the full potential of it right now. So I think that once there's already like a, maybe a better Bull Mama again, maybe three or four upgrades more, I guess, definitely it will be a game changer because I think guys on the leaderboard at the moment, the players are just not using that much, at least our Golden Monkey because of its prize. But you guys already have seen it. It is actually possible to get into the leaderboard by just using a freaking four star with an orb to get it with some supporting units. So that is really, really insane, guys. Not mentioning the fact that recently we also got an orb for Gogeta, which makes him really, really good. And of course, these earring orbs that you can equip uh, together with Goku and also Vegeta so that you can also place Vegeta on the battlefield. That is really massive, guys. So those are just the expectation that Naruto 6-star is actually carrying at the moment, guys. Because not gonna lie, guys, they can literally change All-Star Tower Defense to Dragon Ball Tower Defense and no one would actually complain because... I mean, there are so many units that they could have actually <laughs> buffed. I, I would really, really freak out, guys, if they just decided to bring back... Uh, who is that? I think Jinbei? Yeah, Jinbei was actually before, at least. Jinbei was the most hated unit, at least on the banner before. I think, guys, it would less likely to happen because they have already removed Jinbei out of the uh, banner itself. But imagine, guys, they could have easily created like a, an orb for Jinbei. There's no reason for them to remove him out of the banner, I think, but I guess that the lesser the units are the you know like the better the rng for those really really good units especially if you will actually miss it on the update day all right guys we are now waiter 51 and one more wave clear and uh, we will have like a million i think that we won't really have enough cash obviously to upgrade everything here i'm just not sure about our goku god here i think that we're not even gonna you know what should we actually upgrade our Goku God to max? I'm not sure. Okay, there you go, guys. We now got a million and I'm now just going to max out this one. And that would make our defense a lot, lot more stronger. And actually, guys, yeah, I just realized that spending out at least a 25k would be really a good idea for our Goku Gods. Because even though the range is not going to be that superb, I mean, it's going to be the same. It's even worse, actually, if we are going to just uh, randomly upgrade um, our Goku GT here. Because I think that it would not really help that much because of the damage. Look at that, guys. It's only going to be like what? You know what? Um, let me try to upgrade it. Yeah, the damage is just not going to be that much. 3,000 damage for three upgrades. Not really sure if that's going to be a game changer for the next few waves. But we are now on wave number 53. Obviously, this is going to be an easy wave number 60. But... 
I really doubt that wave number 70 would be possible, especially that those air units would be really, really fast. But this is the caliber of the Dragon Ball units at the moment, guys. Like, there are just so many units from Dragon Ball, at least at the moment, guys, that even though they're not really a meta, they can still carry you on decent waves, guys. Even though you don't have a very good strategy because of how OP they are. I mean, this is just a normal, obviously, guys, this is just a normal infinite mode. But I think that even if you will give, like, maybe let's say Goku God to a beginner pretty sure guys that he would be able to reach like wave number 40 without even <laughs> learning the game itself that is how OP some of the Dragon Ball units that we have here especially those orbs that we got recently waiter of 59 now guys almost 60 I thought and uh, some of the mobs are actually pushing through here and it's just gonna be the fact that none of our units guys can actually reach this corner look at that so there's no way for these units to be damaged i think that only um gogeta can actually no 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 even gogeta cannot i think that only gonna be vegeto i think that this range oh no look at that <laughs> yeah that's the only problem that we have here and there you go guys we are now in wave number 60. i mean guys if you wanted to remind yourselves about the damage of our dragon ball units here with orb gogeta would actually give you 24k per 6.5 seconds a max out goku wait do we not oh shoot i'm so oh wait it's so laggy okay i gotta turn off my effects i gotta turn off my effects no no my Roblox crashed! Yep, even the game guys cannot handle these Dragon Ball units. And I'm not gonna redo the run, guys, because I've already said everything that I wanted, at least on the discussion. But I want to know your opinion and also your expectation, guys, for the Naruto 6 star. Because obviously, your expectation would also decide whether you will be happy on the next update or whether you will be happy if ever there's gonna be some changes that will happen for Naruto 6 star. But anyway, guys, that is gonna be pretty much it for this video if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe use the star codes now whenever you're buying robux and as always thank you so much for watching stay cold not the six stars so scary out